Just need to find a boulder I can smash. There's no boulders over here. Hell, I got the rocks I needed from that. Wait, I have stones. What the hell? But, yeah, notice I hit him and I backed off a bit and he wasn't able to determine where I was at. I think I am going to move these things further back. Hello. Not a feral. That's kind of quick. Thought I heard somebody else. That guy's just going to keep Trump tra traipsing around right where I want to set up my stuff. All right, fine. We'll play with a feral. I should really get a bag down first. <laughs> it's going to be bad if I don't get a bag down. Um... I forget what it's called. Bedroll. Bedroll and campfire. Eh, wherever. Don't care where. Alright, bedroll is your respawn point. Did he leave me alone? Where'd he go? Up oh, there he is. I don't like this guy lurking around. Let's take some easy pot shots. It'll be shoot and scoot. And he'll eventually die, but it's going to take a lot of arrows. Just back up a bit, go back into crouch mode, and he'll lose track of me. Let me do it again. Let me try to get headshots. Oh, we knocked him down with that one. But I wasn't going to charge him anyway. And <laughs> not charging the feral. Do not want to get into melee. Hey! Hey! Not good. This guy is dangerous. We could be in trouble here. Let's see if we can use the terrain to our advantage. Uh, is he going to be able to hop over? Yep. Do, 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 do. Starting to run out of stamina. I think we got far enough. Yeah, definitely. Love playing games with ferals. But he got close enough that time. Hopefully you're able to see his glowy eyes. Ah. <laughs> I got an arrow sticking through his head. That would be the shot that knocked him down earlier. I uh, should have scooted. This is taking too long. I am definitely out of practice. There we go. 750 XP. It's about double XP for these guys. There's the eyes. That's how you tell. You won't know. It'll just look like a normal zombie until they see the eyes. All right, back to what I was trying to do. I just need to back my, my camp up. So let's just put it back a little further. Campfire, I need some building blocks for various reasons. Uh, I don't want to chop it. Don't want to pick it up. There we go. Wasn't getting the icon I was expecting. Alright, so... There's our home base marker. Come here, you. 
put a little further away out of the way. Then I'm going to bring my boxes over here. Uh, I think... I don't remember. Do I have to destroy them to pick them up? <laughs> it's been so long. This takes too long. Oh boy. That's the lock that we destroyed first. I want a just pick it up into my inventory option. Yeah, that just got me the lumber back. So there is not a way to do this, right? I think I'll just leave these here. We'll just put new ones over here. Don't need a land claim block. Whoops. There's a bit of a lag, delay, something. It's throwing me off a bit when I'm trying to play stuff. All right. Now I can try to get organized like I remember. Anything food or medicine related we'll throw into this box. Uh, sort of. Uh, I don't remember what I put over there. We'll put raw materials for crafting over here. Not you. And campfire gets those two things. Don't need a beaker anytime soon, so we're good for the campfire for making any recipes we need, so yay. Uh, need some lumber. Stop it. Uh, I guess we'll put, uh, nah, not that stuff. I'll come back to that one. We'll put, uh, associated odd parts over here. All right, we definitely need you on the bar. Much better. Now, I need to get some more stones. Um, let's use up all my current stones for arrows. Make sure we got a nice fat stack. Don't need the rest of that. Have we accomplished anything else? Just that one? 5,000 XP, huh? We are character level 2. Which means what? <laughs> I know it's, it's books nowadays for most of this stuff. Oh, we still have the perk point stuff. All right. Yeah, I gotta pick. A, I gotta pick a build. We got five points available. I haven't done anything yet. So by habit, typically in the past, I would take hidden strike early because you get sneak attack, deal an extra fifty percent damage. That makes my nighttime and even some daytime uh, bow hunting way more effective. You can single hit kill stuff even at harder difficulties uh, with that. So I think for a single point, that is well worth it. Um, not parkour yet. Yeah, it really depends on what build I'm going to go for. I haven't really decided. I like agility a lot. We've had fun with uh, the intelligence, getting the shock baton and going crazy with that. That's, that's pretty cool. Fortitude. It's usually uh, the melee build, which is, I know, we had good times there. 
Strength is all about the clubs and sledgehammers, and um, perception is the spear and the guns later. That's generally how it goes. I think I'll just stick with uh, I'll stick with archery and knives. I think or the first little get reacquainted. Uh, we're not going to be in this world long enough to worry too much about it. Um, so let's do hidden strike for sure. Then let's see. Deep cuts bowman. This one just gives us little incremental damage, name, speed, and find mo more bow parts. That's the thing to know about is when you perk up certain skills, it actually changes the odds of finding parts and things associated with that skill in the various loot containers. So, you know, pick wisely if you plan on going down a, a line. Uh, pr stay pretty focused on it. Um, hmm. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, not running the uh, Twitch integration, unfortunately. <laughs> and hey there, Eldorain. I gotta secure some more some more water, and I gotta get some food cooked too. I'm just reminding myself how some of this stuff works. Miner sixty nine er pack mule. Uh, which other ones do I usually pick up? Yeah, I don't remember my start beyond that from A21. It was always Hidden Strike. Oh, that's right. Then I had to spend here to get the next level of it. Now I remember a little more. You have to also spend in the uh, stat categories. All right. So if we grab a uh, Hidden Strike, level two requires what? Agility three. So we have to grab Agility... Two and three. And that leaves me one more point. We got lots of hidden strike. Let's go with uh, deep cuts. All right, we have spent our points. Let's uh, craft some food. What do we got? So, I got nothing. Wrong box. Uh, we don't have what we need for this. We got to find books. But we'll make some other things. Only got one. Yeah, bacon and eggs. Trapped. We're trapped. Gotta get more food books. Can't even do grilled meat. Not gonna have boiled eggs. I guess we'll just do uh, charred meat. Oof. So much cost. That's going to make us thirsty, if I remember right. And, um... The water. Alright, let's go talk to him. Uh, actually, we have our quest. Into town we go. So now we're back to the, they have a much longer detection distance. Nah, terrible shot. There we go. No arrow. Wow, still not done with the first one? Okay. <laughs> hmm. I guess we'll just be hungry. Uh, let's just go eat our chili. Ah, let's head into town. We haven't actually checked this yet. Hey guys, I guess I should have killed them first. Nice. Hmm. 
You got a second or so when they stand up or they stand still before they get moving again. So it's best just to wait till they fully stand and get aimed right where their head is about to be. Cheesing the geometry. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I need cloth. Give me cloth. What you got for me? Cool. Improves food crafting skill. There's some of the meat we were cooking up. Guess we got our boxes down locally now. We can go ahead and start grabbing stuff. Oops. Switch tools. I forget what do these give. Iron and cloth? Sure. Oof, long time to open. A battery, uh I guess. We got we got storage space. Not time yet to start collecting flowers for tea. Uh, this direction. <laughs> Cat food. Well, yeah, I needed stone for more, more arrows. How many we got? Fifty-three. That's enough for now. Cancel that. We'll do that later. All right. Inventory is clear. Uh, I have no stone at all. All right. Give me... Give me the basic parts. Off we go. We're going to try to focus on knives, depending on circumstances, because this is where our skill kind of lies. Knives and bows are going to be our main focus. All right. Popping pills. Uh, Midway Clinic, huh? I don't recognize that one. I recognize the fire station. No zombies in sight. That's kind of interesting. More meds are always a good thing. That's the finale room there. Must be a back entrance. Do you still get tools from uh, vehicles? Got the uh, armor crafting. Repair kits are good. Level three skill point. We'll hold off on spending that. More honey. All right, let's just do the quests. We'll kill stuff on the way. The bear den. Ooh, way too far out. There's that stumble forward maneuver I was talking about. That's why you always back up. A lot of times you hit them in the face with a giant sledgehammer and they come towards you. <laughs> they stumble forward. You know, in contravention of all laws of physics. Can't do much with these. It's going to be locked. I don't remember. Fire trucks got anything fun? Uh, 
Yeah, we're not going in the bear den. Aldo's. I do vaguely remember Aldo's. So, the um, most of the structures in the game that they send you into for missions, well, all the mission structures are built like fun houses. They have a specific spot where you're expected to go in as the entrance, and then you wind your way through a designed experience that is like a fun house. Enemies are going to jump out at you. They're going to spawn around you. So you may see an empty room, but then when you step near it, it triggers a spawn to occur, and they drop out of the ceiling or things like that. So it's just part of the game experience. You know, get over it. <laughs> People like to complain about that. It's the way they decided to go. Just just go with it. All right, so we got the gas and snacks. I, I vaguely remember this one. It's not too long. Um, shall we double run it? I guess we should double run it, right? early game we need lots of stuff all the basic things well not so much the sandwiches but oh wait this one has a dog doesn't it i remember a dog oh god i hate dogs i'm pretty sure there's a dog maybe back behind there <laughs> i distinctly remember a puppy Hey there, big zombie. There's an ammo pile up here. It's a bunch of nothing up here. That's a rude one to get early. Bleed! Or bleeding. Is he bleeding? He's bleeding. <laughs> Fortunately, he's a hit point sponge, so he can bleed a long time. 750. He was as, he was worth as much as the feral. The XP rewards have always been really out of whack. It's funny when you get a feral crawler that gives you like 1500 oh my oh biker gives you like 1500 xp it always bugs me that i have to click the left mouse button again to start the drawing of the arrows oop he's in run mode we'll let him run himself out now he's back to slow Grab him. Seven fifty. So no dog. Am I misremembering the dog? I think that's so. Lights are the way game's way of uh, telling you where you're supposed to go, your path. So they're expecting the start of the adventure to be at this door right here. And then you kind of wend your way through it. You might go through the front area and then up on the roof and then down into an area that can only be accessed from the roof and, and so on. Part of the fun house experience. We'll go ahead and go in. I think he's either multiples on the roof or where did those guys activate from? We woke that guy up. Close that. Clear this guy out. Oh, I let him get hit. I let me get hit. That was terrible. Hey, guys. Just, just you. Gotta be careful of stamina. Decapitation. And blood loss. <laughs> he died bleeding out. Gotta love the bleed outs. No tools. 
Tires I could chop up. No tools there. All right, lower area is clear. Passing gas box. Nice. Vehicle book, tools digest. More vehicle books, please. Oh, we can do tier two stone tools now. We got the bike handles. They're probably going to give us a bike after we complete the first 10 quests for the, the NPC. Big hitters and uh, tool crafting, salvage tool crafting specifically. We'll take the office chairs. Clutter on the ground is noisy, so uh, I will warn zombies when you step on it. Sometimes it makes a noise, an audible noise to you to hear. But you can chop the stuff up, which is hilarious. You can take an axe to it, smashing the ground, and it doesn't make noise. But if you step on it, all of a sudden you alert the zombies. You know, game logic. I do need to hit more food-centric POIs so we can not have to worry so much about the food. Oh, here's our first toilet search. Toilet pistol? Are we going to get the first one? The, the first toilet I search? Do they still have toilet pistols and toilet knives? <laughs> I don't know. We got uh, toilet paper. Used toilet paper. Hey, zombie. Uh oh, other zombie. Hey, let's go over here. Hey. All right, I got hung up on the uh, terrain there. Weird. Okay, game. <laughs> it's doing weird things with my movement rate. Out of stamina. Oh, that's right. I am low on water and food. That is a problem. Really slows down the stamina regen. Let's switch to archery. <laughs> that's new. I woke up the neighbors. Feels like I have to get closer for the quick stab than I do for the power attack. We have nothing to drink currently. Yeah, I definitely have to hit more uh, food related POIs. What's new in 1.0? Lots of stuff. I can't list them all. I only briefly perused the list. Lots of balance changes, some fairly substantive changes. Uh, that's right, we're getting overburdened also. Uh, scrap that, drop it, drop it. Won't need paper for a while. Uh, do, 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 take all that. Uh, it's the 1.0. They're weird. I don't know why they do it this way, but it's it, they call it the 1.0 release, but it's the 1.0 experimental build release. So you can go play it. It released this morning for everybody. There was a streamer weekend where streamers had it over the from Friday to Sunday. And then a couple hours ago, it released to the public. So if you want to play the 1.0 version, it's um, in the experimental beta build. So just... You know, right click on your Steam launch for uh, the game and go to the betas tab and select the uh, latest experimental build and you can play it. So, you know, supposedly it's feature complete and the experimental part just lets them polish it up and uh, fix any bugs. Hey there, workbench. Really? That's all I get? Forget if there's anybody in here. You can drop in and drop out. 
Nobody in here. Uh, I forget. Can you, can you blow these up? Do you get anything out of it? I don't believe so. They changed that. Alright, well that's the POI. Now I could start the quest and it'll respawn everything. I got no room though and we're overweight and I need some some water. So let's finish looting and then we'll uh, have to run back and then come back to finish it. I don't usually double dip these when I'm doing the initial run of missions because I want to pile through the first 10 as quickly as possible. Kind of depends on the POI though. And what I think I'm going to be able to get in the town. Yeah, hungry, thirsty, overweight. Not a good combo. <laughs> Man, I must be really hungry and thirsty. Uh, I forget. I can't see the hunger and thirst bars if you're wondering why I'm coming here to look. <clears throat> streamer problems. The very, very bottom of my screen is cut off where it shows that info. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't need the repair kits yet. Yeah. I'm going to have to go searching instead of questing, I think. Challenge eat charred meat is complete. <laughs> okay. Guess we should turn some parts in. Or some quests. What else we got? I haven't done the land claim. Or put a door up. Land claim, door, spike trap. I got no stones to do most of this. We'll grab some stones while we're out and about, and then uh, we'll come back and do this at night when I'm not out running missions. Thirty more seconds. Ugh. While I wait, I'll go spend that perk point. Where are we going to put it? So we got our agility up so we can perk up a little further. I can do the second deep cut, which gets us up to four bleed wounds and a power attack inflicts three stamina cost reduction. Actually, that's what I'm mostly after is a stamina cost reduction. Um, we can't do hidden strike again until we pump it up to five. Yeah, five, which is expensive. Not worried about parkour yet or run and gun. I don't usually worry about from the shadows. Usually I can evade them without needing the bonus. I haven't bumped archery yet. Which I just don't find the benefits all that exciting for the archery chain. Let's see. 
I usually do cross train into a few other things. Cardio is always nice. Been too long. I don't remember my my builds that I used to do. What order I did things in. Let's just stick in agility for a little bit, though. What the hell? Let's do some parkour. All right, let's get moving again. Come here, stone. Stop and get a few more. Yeah, what was it before? Seven missions to go up to, to tear up one of the merchants and increase it to 10. I guess it's going to depend a bit on density of missions. I ran into problems in the past where the mission trader guy would give you missions like a kilometer away consistently and it was really annoying. He would give you missions in the next town over. So if they've cleaned that up a bit, it wouldn't be as bad. Uh, we should probably speed run this mission. Yeah, I know they share levels. I mentioned that earlier. And that part's nice. I am still thirsty. And hungry. I gotta find a supermarket. Bowling alley. I don't know if we have any real food locations here. All right. We have started the quest over, which resets the POI completely. This is how you double dip. You run it first, clear it out to get all the loot and so on, and then you activate the quest, and then you run it again. So they want me to go around back for the proper experience, even though I guess technically we could go in the front here. But let's make sure the back's clear first. No zombie this time. Oops. Canceled it. <laughs> Sham sandwiches. Not sure why I'm using the... Uh, the baton, other than habit. Hey, we got tools this time. Oh, we got the machete parts. Nice. More of those, please. I'd love to upgrade the machete if it's no longer a downgrade. Nope. You guys activate on both sides of me. You don't ever want to get surrounded. I think I'll just speed through and kill all the zombies, then I'll backtrack and loot. Not that many zombies to worry about. Can we get... Mm, love when they've got their heads just out of reach. I can't quite squat there. Simplifies things a fair bit. That guy's got his head mostly in the uh, the wall, <laughs> so we can't get that one. All right, level four. Hey, we got some food. Adrenaline. Crap I don't care about. Mm. 
Nah, not worth it. All right, so POI is clear. We got the outside. Gotta get these boxes. I forgot to make, uh, now that we have stone, more stone, I can make the level two tools. Assuming we don't get level three before we get back to base. Armor parts. No meds, nothing. Hey, Mega Crush! No Mega Crush. I'll take the water, though. A potato. And come on, toilet pistol. Toilet knife. Nope. No toilet love. All right, we're not taking apart vehicles. There was nothing up there. I think we're all set. We're overburdened. What can we dump? Scrap it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Uh, dump it. Don't care, don't care, don't care for now. What the hell is that number? Weird. Lock the slots? Huh. Okay, I see. Uh, what else? All right, let's take a quick look around before we head back. So we got uh, some ravioli. Let's get that down the hatch. Bowling lanes, a little too big. I don't want to go in there. Beer and liquor. That I don't think it's going to hold enough. Jim's gun fortress. Where are you? Is that a Mega Crush t-shirt? That's a Mega Crush t-shirt. Police station, video store, and we're already done with the town. We're off into the residential. So I'd have to hit the kitchens individually. Butcher Pete's might have some stuff in that first room there, so we'll check that. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, no. No. <laughs> I don't want to deal with those guys yet. Uh-oh. Did they change the graphic on this, too? Everything? A lot of the graphics look a lot more muted. Yeah. The orange service truck isn't so orange anymore. Give me shock baton, please. <laughs> hey, we got a knife book. Cool. Bone knife, too. Now we can craft it as well as loot it. All right, um, trailers. I hate trailers. Too many, too many Dobermans. Let's run back over. We're going to the front of Butcher Pete's here. That guzzling. Still waiting for my wrench. I haven't been uh, looting the right areas to get a wrench, though. But let's go in here. I'd like to scare a little more food and water. Zombies? Zombies? I hear somebody. Hey there. I know! 1.0. Of course... It's the uh, usual caveat. It's the 1.0 experimental release build. <laughs> so. Still, 1.0. For, you know, reasons. Uh, I don't know if I want to go all the way up here. Whoa. Well, hi, guys. That's a bit spicy.
Pull them out where we can maneuver. And bleed to death. Give me books. Paper. Paper's not what I was looking for. I'll take 22 of those. A lot of corpses. Don't see anything else. <laughs> uh oh that's not a good sign oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap <laughs> oh crap down where's down <laughs> that was rude <laughs> a feral and a doberman <laughs> oh, that was really rude. I told you. I saw the dog the dog box. <laughs> That's a usually a warning. You see one of the dog cages. Be very careful. I was anticipating the dog. I was not anticipating the dog and the feral. <laughs> well, that was a bit of excitement. Even on this difficulty level, that could have wrecked me pretty quick. That's one of the hardest enemies in the game, right in the first little town there in an innocuous upstairs story of a building. Hilarious. Oh, I sure hope I finish that mission. Return to Trader, yeah. <laughs> uh, I habitually forget to like do something to finish a mission and then leave and it auto fails when you leave the area. Let's go dump items first. We'll talk to the trader real quick. And uh, then I need to update my gear. <laughs> that woke me up. That was a flawlessly, well, not, not flawlessly, because I got a bit lost on finding the downstairs once or twice. But uh, that was a well-executed Brave Sir Robin. Or successfully. I won't, I won't even claim that it was well-executed. It was successful. All right, uh, so let's get you going. I should keep that with me. In case of Doberman break. Go away, grass. You're interfering with my picking the box properly. All right. Uh, give me that. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to need. So, not doing clubs. We could do a two bone knife, but we've already got one. Um, tools. Oh, put away the plant fibers. I go mow the grass with my stone axe. Uh, 
All right, tools are fine. Get rid of that stuff. Uh, let's do that. That. Gotta find more books. All right, while this finishes up, we'll go talk to him. Nice to see me back in seven days to die. Yeah, I kind of missed it. I mean, I played the game a lot. It's been nine months. I didn't realize it had been so long since I last played. But I played it to death at that time, so I did so many runs in such a short time. Didn't we agree? Your first Grilled meat, bacon, and eggs. Crafting skill bundle. I'm going to take the crafting skill magazine bundle. All the rest of that stuff I can find or make. Any jobs? Fetch? I like close fetch. There's not much in the close fetch department here. Let's get one thing straight. You're not working. Alright, what do we get? Two armor craft, two workstation, and two robotics. Well, you know, the robotics is kind of useless if we're going to go an agility build, but sure. Primitive armor three. Should I upgrade? I guess I should. It's pretty easy materials. Uh oh, we're gonna have a darker night. It's really foggy. Hmm. So at nighttime, uh, I gotta switch strategies because uh, the zombies get faster, which can be pretty dangerous. I still don't really have much in the way of food other than the charred meat, which makes you thirsty. Minus five water. Still can't do my bacon and eggs. How far along are we in that regard? It's under crafting skills. Where's the food? We're only at three. Yeah, that won't do it. We got to get to uh, uh, 10, I think. That's a long way to go still. Starting to rain, huh? All right. Um, I got, um, hmm. Let's risk it. Why not? I forget, is it 20, 2200 when it's officially nighttime? I think it's 2200. So we might get lucky. This is a fetch quest, so it could put it on the outside edge. Nice. More of that, please. Free XP. I might wait for mods to catch up. Well, I guess. Depends on what mods you're talking about. Because, you know, I'm still waiting for the A21 version. For the mods I want to play. It's been a nine month wait. <laughs> I'm still waiting. But I agree. I don't usually play vanilla either by preference. But Whoa, you're not dead yet? Yeah, Undead Legacy is the one I want to play, but Subquake is taking his time. That's new. <laughs> I don't, don't, definitely don't remember that one. Got a 
flashlight. Is it this house here? Next one over. Oh, she saw me. This one I'm just going to run once. I'm not going to try to double dip this one. So here's the trick with uh, retrieve or fetch quests. I always say I want fast fetch. So I want a fetch quest close to the NPC, to the trader. That's the fast part. And then the fetch part is you just have to get a certain box or bag inside the location. So what you do is on your compass up top, right where it says E for East, there's a little gold icon for the bag. So you kind of scan along to find out where it's at in the building. So it's kind of dead center. And then I'll scan down the other length and I'll know what end of the building it's on. And occasionally it'll be right on the outer edge and you just chop away the one exterior block and you can pick it up. And it gets bigger the closer you get to it. So it's right inside here. Now I can't tell the vertical. It's possible it's up top. What the hell? Oh, fire going on. So it's possible it's up here. Interesting. Let's go ahead and chop into the uh, the roof area here and see if it might be here. It's got a little arrow now pointing down, meaning it's a level below me, so it's probably on the ground floor. Sometimes you get lucky, though, and you break one block, and you can just reach in and grab the item, and you're off and running. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these being doubled. <laughs> so if you're looking for completions, the close fetch quests, if you get them as an option, are the fastest. Really? Still saying down. Yeah, I think it is on the ground floor. 